car. What's poppin'? What's going on in the life of a Capricorn for April 2019? Hmm. Hmm. Are we all, are we internally conflicted on which way to go, left or right? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hey, boo hey, if this is your first time you're on my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time you're on my channel, look out. I cuss. I may cuss a little, may cuss a lot, just depending on what the hell these cards say. Oh, but I'm a cuss. To my new subscribers, welcome to the family, y'all. We are the dysfunctional. We don't fight a fuss. We be that shit on other people's channel. But we do cuss. We love, we grow, we share, we enlighten. You know, we evolve. Posy vibes only here. Um, To my returning subscribers, familia. What's popping? Y'all gonna have to bear with me as I'm dealing with tonsil stones right now. I know y'all like, Mocha, really? And you really making this video right now? Yes. I'm an Aries. It's now or never, okay? And y'all know it's our season, and I don't want them Rams ready to beat me down like Mocha. Now, you know damn well, you know? Y'all know. You know. If you're dealing with Aries, y'all know they don't play play. You don't play play, okay? So I got my Starbucks. If you see me getting a drink in my hot ginger, don't worry about it. Just know that I'm medicated, all right? This will be for my summer rising Venus as well as the cross watchers for the sign of Capricorn. Thank you in advance for all of my likes, my shares, my subscribes. I truly, truly, truly appreciate y'all. Um, it really means a lot too. All right. So we're gonna rock. All right. If this does resonate, you guys, take what resonates, leave the rest. All right. Don't try to make that damn shoe fit if the motherfucker don't fit because if it's too big, your ass is going to fall. Okay. So let's get it. So intuitively. <clears throat> Ooh, for the sign of Capricorn. What I got for you all was health, investments, self-love, catalyst, telepathy, patience, abundance, passionate, twin flame. I'm sorry, passionate connection, y'all. I'm sorry. Truth, resistance. Life cycles, dreams, deceptive, surroundings, solar plexus, heart chakra, awakening, children, akashic, family matters, and miracles. Okay? So if that any of that resonates, this message is for you. Alright? The angel message that you all pull for the month is leadership. Your message comes from Archangel Gabriel. It is time for you to assume your leadership power and position and lovingly guide others, okay? So for some of you all, you're being called to leadership or to take some sort of leadership role. And I feel like some of you guys are internally conflicted because it's out of your comfort zone. I'm here in comfort zone, okay? So your spirit messages for the month. You guys are up against <laughs> destiny. And I feel like some of you all, you're really wanting to hold on to situations, people, uh, places, things that you feel kind of stuck to or trapped to, even though you hold the keys to release yourself. I feel like in the month of April, a lot of you guys um, are kind of going to be internally conflicted in this place of giving to situations where you feel as if there is no harvest. You're not going to see anything grow out of it. Some of you all may be in this place of reflection. Some of y'all may also be seeing a lot of dragonflies and butterflies during this time, which signifies some form of um, a life cycle shift or you guys going into a life cycle. By the second week of April, some of you all may be experiencing, and this may be now, like going into the first week, but definitely in the second week, some of you all may have some type of revelation via the via dreams, which gives you a different perception of looking at a particular matter that you've been internally conflicted about. And I definitely feel like this is ancestral time, especially from your father's side. Some of you all really need to talk to your father or you may be having a conversation with your father um, regarding um, pretty much your life path and ancestral ties to things that could affect you during this time and your relationships and how you look at relationships or your fears around commitment. Yeah, some of you all, there will be a major shift happening with your solar plexus. This looks to be coming in around that full moon. Is it a new moon or a full moon in Aries um, on April the 5th? Some of you guys, you really need to control your temper during the month of April. I definitely feel like some of you guys may feel like you're being, you're kind of being used or, or like you're feeling as if you're like over giving or overextending and you're not getting that back. So some of you all may have the tendency in the month of April to kind of pop off. <laughs> Don't pop off. Put your top back on. Don't let the steam 
fly and you have your top. Don't do that. Don't let nobody ask this month. Capricorn, let them make it. Okay? Let them make it. All right? But you all are definitely going to be looking at a situation as well as life in general. And the things that you would notice that you would once kind of get angered about. For some of you all, you're just going to let it roll off your back during this time. Just like, fuck it. Two tears in a bucket. Some of you all... Some of you guys may actually be having, some of y'all may be welcoming in the new spirit guides during this time. And some of you guys are not going to be comfortable with it because for some of you all, um, you had a spirit guide that was actually one of your ancestors. And for some of you all, this spirit guide is going to be so, um, she's going to be younger. This could also be, some of y'all actually have a connection to fairies. This spirit guide could also be fairies for some of you all. Some of you all are wanting to connect connect to fairies during this time. You really need to do the um you really need to go back and do like look at the origin of fairies. Look at the origin like um I know that they're from their 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 origin is I believe it's like the river of Quebec. It has something to do with the river of Quebec. As well as the stones. Some of you all you may want to leave a piece of pound cake in the actual um in the little crevices of the trees. I can't think of the name of it. Um, I can't think of the name of it. Carcass? Something like that. Don't get me lying, y'all. Don't shit. Don't go Google search my ass, okay? Shit. <laughs> I'm not a teacher. Shit, I'm a spiritual teacher. But shit, on the, on the mundane world, don't don't count my word for it. Go Google that shit. It's free. Yeah, some of you all are definitely going to be shifting your perspective around love matters. And there is abundance in that area for some of you all. This could involve a cancer. Okay, but for some of you all, there is abundance in love that is trying to find you. But for some of you all, you already have this all-knowing on which way that you need to move. Some of you all may be experiencing some sort of a major crown chakra activation near water underneath the crescent moon. For those of you who connect to water goddesses, these guys, some of y'all have a massive ass download coming. And it definitely has something to do with, I'm hearing Yamaya, Oshun. Some of you all may do, uh, may practice water magic with the goddess Oshun. This goddess is going to be able to assist you in actually shifting your perception to move past these internal conflicts. Some of you guys may not be talking to um, a father figure. Or if you're a man, you may not be talking to your mother due to the different views of how a situation was perceived. Clarity. Or you may feel like your mother is not giving you the clarity that you need in order to assist you in um, shifting these ancestral, like shifting this ancestral karma. For some of you all, spirit is really trying to move you into your destiny during this time, but you have internal conflict about it because it goes completely against your morale. For some of you all, you're battling, uh, you're having issues with um, really looking at things from a new way based on like traditional value, traditional views or like religious ties, like your upbringing. And for some of you all, this is a major prevention in love. Some of you all could be dealing with someone who's um, of a different culture. But there is definitely something new trying to be birthed. For some of you all, this is involved in the Aryan person. Some of y'all could actually be starting new businesses during this time. But maybe you feel stuck um, into putting your energy into a job that you can't release yourself from. And for some of you all, it's destined for this job to be a blockage for you all. Because in the past life, you had issues with letting go and resistance. So Spirit is saying that internal conflict is only your your subconscious trying to control the way that an outcome happens for you, that an outcome actually uh, comes to fruition, but Spirit is saying you have no control over that. If you want to win the war, baby, you have to surrender, period. All right? So let's see what's going on with my cappies in love. Spirit, what messages do you have for my beautiful Capricorn? I'm going to rather this as well as the cross watchers in love for the month of April 2000. Okay. What messages do you have? Capricorns. As well as the Cross Watcher Gang Gang. For the month of April. In love. What can they expect? What are the blockages? 
most possible outcomes and advice. Okay. Okay, some of you all, some of you all could actually be moving forward, working on starting something new. Okay, some of you guys could actually be moving forward towards a new business opportunity. Okay, which is possibly going to upset a few people. It's gonna shake some fucking trees up. But fuck it, if they don't like your apple, don't you don't like my apples, don't shake my tree. It's my tree. These apples are for me. I shared, didn't I? Now, shit, if you came barking up the wrong damn tree, these apples may come out sour. And that's none of my business. Because barking up my tree was not your part. All right? Yeah. Some of you all are possibly releasing yourself, okay, from possibly... You, some of you guys could be releasing yourself during this time from um, a connection that you have with a Piscean person, this person. You could have children with this person. Or some of you guys could actually... Uh, be releasing that resistance, moving away from resistance and moving towards this person to actually renew or rekindle uh, some form of relationship after heartbreak and betrayal. Yeah, some of you guys are definitely cutting yourselves out of situations that make you feel stagnant, okay? For some of you all, you could also be communicating with an air sign during this time about moving forward, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I definitely feel like that you guys are moving away from some you moving forward past some period of deception or some period where someone wasn't loyal or you felt as if um yeah some of you guys could just just be removing yourself from a situation that makes you feel stuck but this definitely could involve pisces or an air sign some of you guys could also be working on a new partnership business partnership with an earth sign capricorn taurus virgo and i feel like you're having to leave someone behind in order to do so which could be possibly an air sign gemini Aquarius. But I feel like whatever this move forward is, okay, some of you guys could be moving forward after relationship, releasing yourself from uh, the mother or the father of your child. I feel like you guys, in the month of March, were trying to work something out with someone, and at the end of the day, you felt as if you weren't really getting, as if you were getting the short end of the stick, okay? Some of you guys are going to release that damn pride and actually reach out to that damn Leo, because either you or this other person or you could be receiving communication from a Leo. And this person wants to move forward, balance things out after a period of heartbreak, betrayal. Some of you guys could also be communicating with a fire sign with the Sagittarius or be uh, receiving communication uh, from a Sagittarius. Okay, that you would like that you actually see yourself having some type of family structure, family dynamic. with, That you actually see things coming to fruition with and this person now wants what you want. OK, we're going through this shift, the shifting of these portals with the spring equinox. So a lot of people are experiencing a rebirth, a renewal, the damn light bulb that came on. OK, for some of you all who are who have been patiently waiting to hear from a job opportunity or hear about an investment, it definitely looks good during this time. OK, but you are going to be required to leave something, someone behind. Some of y'all are leaving behind an earth sign. You're actually telling this person the truth. I just really want to be happy or this could be. Uh, you could be on the receiving end of this. This could also be air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. For some of you all, there's this truth and clarity moment, okay? This could have to do with uh, some type of family structure. Someone wants to start over. Some of you all, some of you all may be trying to find the balance between home and work life because someone is kind of giving you an ultimatum or you giving someone an ultimatum. To truly choose what the fuck really matters to them, what matters? You have, what 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 does your values consist of? What is morally correct to you? For some of you all, you can really be indecisive and in your head, resisting change, possibly moving forward with an Aries person. I feel like there is love there, but either you or this other person makes the other person feel feel this sense of lack or feel this sense of not being good enough or not being adequate enough to make changes for. And so someone's moving forward and just really focusing on their coin. Some some of you guys are really truly in your head feeling tired and stuck to situations and feeling as if you can't make a decision due to the fact that you have a family dynamic with someone or some type of contractual agreement that binds you. And Spirit is saying the most possible outcome, best advice is to use trust your intuition. If you felt that you didn't feel it for no reason, again, they go that damn crescent moon. I told you, you guys have a massive download coming around that crescent moon. For some of you all, this could be the second week of April. And for some of you all, this could involve the Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Some of y'all could be dealing with another Capricorn that is truly living their damn head and can't make proper, can't make clear cut decisions. And some of y'all are dealing with an indecisive, um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. 
I feel like in this situation with this air sign, neither parties want to be the bad guy. And this is why some of you guys can't release yourself. But there is, for some of you all, again, I told you it had to do with a past life. For some of you all, things are trying to come, things are trying to come into some form of stability for you, however. But again, in the past life, okay, or possibly with someone from your past. But in the past life, some of you all had issues with releasing yourselves, letting go, or resisting change, which caused massive karma moving forward into this life. That you agreed to come here and settle in order to have this new love. So for some of you all, you could have new love. Possibly after leaving someone who made you feel abandoned or mad. Possibly after leaving someone or leaving something that made you feel as if you weren't inadequate. Or as if you were as if you were inadequate. Period. Okay? So this is what I have for love for the month of April. For the month of Cap, I'll say for the month, for the sign of Capricorn and the sun, moon, and rising. If you guys need that personal, that information will be found in the description. You guys, I will be better and back in action for the mid months. Yes, there will be mid months this month. For the month of March, I went through it with my health, you all. So I gotta say that this month has really just been about re regeneration, rejuvenating myself, and really just kind of moving in this refreshing energy, you know, but I definitely needed all those things to come to the head and come to a surface so that I know that it was going on, you know, can't fix what the hell you don't know about, period, all right, so I love you all, many, many blessings, much peace, much love, namaste, bye babies.